Hello everyone. Today is when, no, it's Thursday. It's currently 11.06 a.m. I have a class at 12.30. On these mornings where I don't have an early class, I like to try to still get up early just so I can like keep my sleep schedule on track. Doesn't always happen though. But this morning I did get up at nine, which is decent and I got ready. And now I need to work on a paper. So I have two papers due tomorrow along with two quizzes, which is criminal. What makes it even worse is that it's all assigned by the same professor. I have two classes with the same professor and she knows that there are students that are in both of those classes with her, but she still decided to assign papers for each of them on the same day. And then yesterday she was like, you know what? I'm gonna give you guys quizzes too. So I have two quizzes and two papers due tomorrow and I'm done with one of the papers, which is good. I'm working on the second one right now. This is for my intro to film class. So I think I'm gonna try to get a little bit more done right now. I currently have two pages and it is supposed to be like seven pages, which now that I say that out loud, I'm not feeling as good about this as I was before. I don't know why in my head I was thinking I had so much more done, but it's okay. I have the whole outline for the paper done, so that makes it a lot easier to write. I feel like that's the hardest part. So I know what my points are gonna be, which is good. Anyways, I need to work on this for a few more minutes and then I'll probably finish getting ready for my class. I'm gonna put my hair up and change my outfit because I'm still in my PJs and I need to eat something before my class because I hate being hungry in class. It's the worst. And afterwards, I'm super excited. I'm meeting up with a friend to do a little study day at a coffee shop. So I should probably just stop talking and write my paper, so I'll see you guys later. the top that I'm gonna wear because I need to put it on before I do my hair because I don't want to be taking off my sweatshirt with like a slicked back hairstyle so if I'm doing a fragile hairstyle I need to like put an outfit on first so that's what we're doing I picked out this little set from JCPenney it's like this little tank top with this cardigan over it I don't know what you would call this and then I'm gonna try and see what this looks like with this princess Polly bralette underneath it's just so hard to find a good bra to wear with this combo because the straps are usually showing or something's peeking out right here. And so I thought, why not just wear a cute one that can purposely peek out, you know what I mean? And I'll figure out the pants when I am done because I'm staying in my comfy sweats for as long as I can. Let's see how this looks. Okay, here's what the top looks like. This actually worked out so well, you can't even see the straps or anything at all. Excuse how messy my room is right now. For the past couple days, I have been in this funk where like I cannot put things away. Like I'm just so lazy. It stresses me out, but I don't know. Sometimes I just get in those phases where like, I cannot be bothered to just like put things away. Like, especially if I'm trying on clothes, I don't want to hang things back up if they don't work. Every once in a while, I'll get in one of those little phases and it's like the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> but I am now at the point where I'm so fed up with the mess in my apartment that I can now just like clean it up. So today, if I have time, I'm definitely gonna work on putting a bunch of stuff away in my apartment. But the main focus of today has to be my paper. It's due tomorrow at midnight, so technically I have two days to do it, but I don't want it to come down to that, obviously, so. I'd much rather get done today and then have tomorrow to catch up on whatever I need to do. I'm going on a mini little trip this weekend, so I wanna make sure I have time to prepare for it and just like have some time to relax. I also saw a TikTok this morning that made me wanna go to Brandy. So I told myself if I can get my paper done today, then I can go tomorrow morning. That probably won't happen, but we're gonna try as hard as we can. Okay, here's everything I am using to do my slicked back bun. I doubt many people wanted a tutorial on this, but you're getting one anyways. I can't remember what day my hair is on right now, probably like four or five. My camera is dying, so we're gonna make this quick. I'm using this rosemary oil and putting it in my scalp and then I'm gonna massage it in. I only do this every once in a while on days where I know I'm gonna wash my hair that night. And then I use this hair gel and then I just use this brush to really like smooth it back. This is just the hard part. Every time I just get lucky if it turns out good. I don't really have much of a strategy, but I do like to leave these little end pieces sticking out. And then when I put the rubber band in, they kind of just stick out in the perfect little like 90s hairstyle way. I don't know if you guys are gonna know what I'm talking about. I love the look of the little like spiky ends. Okay, I feel like this is good enough. Hopefully it looks good from all angles because I can only see a very limited amount. And what makes the slicked back bun is earrings. Okay, I feel like that already looks better. And then I also wanna do some lip liner and an actual like lip combo because right now I only have chapstick on, but I'm gonna change into my jeans and then have a little snack before I leave. Hi guys, I just got home 
from the coffee shop with my friend and it was really nice like i said i just love little study dates we both wanted like different coffee places and so we each got ours and then met up and i feel like i got a lot of stuff done i do think that i can finish my paper today if i really focus but i am just like tired right now from like being in a loud coffee shop and working i just kind of have a headache so i just got home and i just want to sit here for a minute and like watch something maybe have a snack i don't know and recharge before i get back to writing my paper because if i try to just sit down and write it right now it's not going to be productive because i'm tired and i'm burnt out and i'm not in like a writing mood my parents would always make fun of me for taking so many breaks when i was younger and back then it probably was for other reasons than like trying to be productive it was probably because i wanted to like play bearville or something but now i take purposeful breaks and they are productive anyways i'm gonna sit down and relax and turn my brain off for like a good 20 minutes <laughs> I am now going to continue working on my essay for the next like 30 minutes or so and then I'm gonna go see the sunset if you've watched my videos recently you probably know that I love going on little sunset walks especially on days where I haven't really gotten out of the house today isn't one of those days but I've really just been trying to take advantage of the fact that I live in such a beautiful place and I'm so grateful for it so I'm on page five now of my essay and it'll end up being like seven pages it's between 1800 and 2000 words but yeah that's my plan I have 30 minutes until the sunsets so we are just going to work until then. All right, you guys, I worked on my paper for a bit and now we're gonna go watch the sunset. worked for a little bit and now I'm gonna take an everything shower. This is much needed after a long day of working on my paper and just stressing about finals in general, honestly. It's currently 6, 12 p.m. I like taking a shower early because then I have so much time to relax and enjoy feeling clean. I am so excited because I'm gonna use some new limited edition products from Tree Hut. I'm partnering with them for this video and I love them. I feel like they're just the ultimate self-care brand. When I think of self-care products, I think of Tree Hut. So I am all stocked up right now on self-care items for the holidays. I'm probably gonna gift some to some friends and family but we have a few different scents here we have candy cane sparkling sugar and berry bright i wish i could tell you guys my favorite but i literally cannot decide because they all smell so good there's body wash body scrubs shaving oil body butter and even a lip butter which i'm so obsessed with so there's a six oil blend in all the scrubs with coconut evening primrose avocado macadamia sweet almond safflower and orange oils that's seven i don't know but that sounds amazing and there's a unique gel to oil formula in all of the shaving oils which provides provides ample hydration and a smooth glide that you can feel during the shaving process and after. I had never used a shave oil before and I like this because it's just so easy to use with the pump, very moisturizing. I'm trying to decide on the scents I want to use tonight, but it's so hard. I think I'm going to do the candy cane scrub, the berry bright body wash, and the sparkling sugar shave oil. So we have one of each and I don't have to decide. And I think I'll do the berry bright whipped shea butter after my shower. If you're struggling to find a gift for someone for the holidays, these are just the perfect gifts. My mom and I literally just went to Target when I was home for break to get some scrubs for some people for the holidays. Everyone can use some self-care. You just really can't go wrong. So thank you to Tree Hut for sponsoring. Let's take a shower. Tree Hut is available at Ulta, Target, and Walmart. So click the link in my description and check them out. you guys it's the next day these are some clips from my phone from throughout the day i'm gonna do a little voiceover because i actually recorded a bunch of videos where i was talking to you guys on my camera and i have no idea what happened to them they literally disappeared like i cannot find them that entire day is just wiped from my sd card and it's so weird that, that has never happened to me before and i'm so sad because i liked the footage that i got i ended up going to brandy me and brayden went downtown and we just did some shopping we got some pasta some gelato had a really good night i got some really cute stuff i even got some sunny angels which you guys 
guys see me unboxing. And the next day I filmed a haul of everything that I got from Brandy because I was super excited about it and it is now gone. So I am so confused and I am so sorry that this vlog is getting cut short. I filmed a whole outro and everything. So if that's happened to anyone else before, let me know because I am confused and I don't want that to happen again. But yeah, that is about it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Again, make sure to go check out Tree Hut and I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,